Let's uh, capture the statement of the problem uh, pictorially in, in a graph. So let's draw a graph of uh, mm, velocity versus time. So here is velocity and this is time. Time is in uh, given in minutes. and velocity is given in kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour. Now let's capture the statement in this graph. So car moves along a road is starting from rest from a location x. So this is let's say the starting point. Uh, accelerating uniformly, if you are accelerating uniformly your velocity would be increasing at a constant rate. So it will be a straight line graph to a maximum speed of 72 kilometers per hour. So let's say this is 72 kilometers per hour, it goes like this. So this is the level of 72 kmph kilometers per hour, okay, 72 kmph. And then it decelerates uniformly to come to rest because of brakes applied. So it starts at x and it ends at point y. And all this process takes 10 minutes. From here to here it takes 10 minutes. So this point of time it is 10 minutes. 10 minutes time is over. And the question is how far has the car traveled? Okay. Now you know it's the area under the curve, area under the VT graph that's the displacement. So since our car moved only in one direction the magnitude of displacement will also be the distance traveled. So it is essentially we have to compute this area. To do that uh, let us first change this information in minutes to hours. So instead of minutes I'll have hours. So 10 minutes becomes one sixth of an hour. Now. How much is this area? This area using half base into triangle, half base uh, area of triangle, half base into altitude. So base is one sixth of an hour, half of one by sixth of an hour into altitude is 72 kilometers per hour. So into 72 kilometers divided by r per hour. So this unit R cancels out leaving us the un with our answer in kilometers and this is 12, 72 kilometers divided by 12 is 6 kilometers. Option 2 is chosen.